Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Tarowski and I've been a dental professional since 2005, so that is a while now. I currently have my own practice. I'm a mobile dental hygienist here in Winnipeg, Manitoba where I clean patients' teeth in their own home. It's an amazing service and I love it. I love having my own practice. Something that I see quite often is our parents who are asking me about teething for their babies. I like to see babies, children, as soon as they have one tooth in the mouth, even earlier if you're concerned about tongue ties or anything like that. And teething is a primary concern. You know, everybody's concerned about teething. What do I do? What if my child spikes a fever? So let me talk about that a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys a little slide that I have here of the children's teeth and when they start to come in to give you an idea. So for babies, their first tooth typically comes in at six months. It could come in at two months. It could come in at seven months. These are just kind of a basic guideline. But if you guys notice over here, it lets you know when that tooth starts to erupt and then when they, they start to lose that baby tooth and the adult tooth comes in. In. So six months, they start to get their first tooth, usually on the bottom, or it could be anywhere until 10 months. This is a wide range, but every baby, every child is different. But this is teething. This is when, even if their tooth isn't popping through the gum line yet, those tooth buds are starting to form. So unfortunately, your baby is going to be uncomfortable. There, There's a lot of different signs and symptoms that I'm going to explain for you. And I do have a full document on my website at www.thetoothlady.com. Check it out if you want to see kind of more about signs and symptoms and what to watch out for. But something that you have to remember is it's normal. It's not fun, but it's normal. You don't have to rush to the emergency because your child is acting funny or a tooth is coming through or they're misbehaving. Maybe they're crying a bit more and you're concerned. It is completely normal. You will just end up going to emergency, waiting several hours for the doctors there to tell you it's normal. But of course, I'm not a doctor. If you are concerned, of course, go to the emergency hospital. Hospital. But you can also call your doctor as well or even your dentist. But you would basically be bringing them in and they're going to tell you the same thing that I'm telling you is it's normal and they are teething. But let me go over some signs and symptoms for you in a second. But I want to show you that chart once again and kind of explain it a little bit for you. So the first two starts to come in at six months. And then notice how on the bottom or um, I should say on the top, the first tooth on the top comes in at eight to 12 months. So see how this is happening for a while until the 25th to the 33rd month. And typically the teeth show up on the bottom first and then the top, but that's not always the case. This is just a general guideline. So a lot of teeth are going to be coming through. As soon as you see that first tooth, it means it's time to start brushing your baby's teeth. Even a toothpaste is completely fine. I have more videos about that, um, but a toothpaste is fine just brush lightly and try to keep plaque and everything off the teeth. But what I want to show you guys and what I want to talk to you guys about, I do have a document here and I'm going to show this on my website as well. Um, kind of signs and symptoms. So can everybody see this okay? I'm just going to move my camera over a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm just going to pop it up here so I don't forget to mention something. So basically, what you should know is your baby's teeth are coming through, okay? It could be just the one, it could be two at a time, it could be five at a time, top or bottom. They are going to be more fussy than usual. It's normal. They are also going to um, drool a lot. They're going to drool a lot. This is one of the main signs and symptoms of teething. But what I do suggest is make sure to clean that away often. You don't want that to sit there and then pull up because then they could start to get around where that saliva is pooling up. So do the best you can and clean it away often. If your baby is 
chewing and gnawing on toys or fingers, it's because they subconsciously are trying to feel better. They want their mouth to feel better. That is completely normal. You can get some teething toys that are safe to chew, that are softer. Some you can even put in the freezer to have kind of a cooling effect. I will leave the links for those on my dental Amazon store if you are curious, because everybody shops at Amazon. Now, their gums around where the teeth are coming in may May start to get swollen and this can look very concerning for new parents if you're not used to that but it's normal you don't have to rush them to the dentist because if you think about it what is the dentist going to do nothing right so you're just putting your selves and your baby through an unnecessary dental appointment but having that said if you're concerned it can't hurt to call them and if you're even more concerned don't be afraid to go to the emergency but I'm just trying to give you guys things to help you not worry as much now, their cheeks might get more hot. They might get red. This is another sign of teasing, of teething. Some babies have this and some babies do not. Unfortunately, they might not be able to sleep very well either. If you notice their sleeping patterns are all over the place, it's because they're teething, they're uncomfortable, and they're in pain. So hang in there, parents. I promise all of this will be worth it. They might even have a loss of appetite. So if they're not interested in feeding, like they normally are it could be because they're in pain they're uncomfortable something that a lot of parents don't know is they could be pulling at their ears so you might be thinking oh they're, they're starting to explore themselves a little bit they have found their ears which is possible but that's another sign of teething because teeth pain can actually radiate towards their ears not nice same goes for adults if you have a toothache you might also have an earache unfortunately now last but not least your baby might have a temperature talk to your doctor about this but Tylenol ibuprofen could be given Tylenol tends to be on the safer side make sure to pay attention to how much your baby weighs extremely important if the fever doesn't go down with children's Tylenol it may be time to call your doctor and or go to the emergency this is very important but a fever is very very normal um, so like all of these, you guys, things to keep in mind. I will post this full document on my website at thetoothlady.com. Check it out if you want kind of an itemized list and any teething toys, helpful things that might help. I'm going to put a link to that as well on my Amazon store. Just remember, it's very normal. It typically starts around six months of age. This is where they start to get their first tooth. Even if you don't see it yet, it's developing underneath the gum line. So hang in there. It's not going to be nice for you or your baby, but they will get through it. We all did it. So please hang in there. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.